I'm in Elizabethtown, North Carolina, established in 1773. This lot looks like a good one. I'm going to probe it out and see if I can find anything. Found one. Hopefully this one will be older than some of those 1940s holes that I find so often. Okay, that's what I like to call privy paint. You see the difference in the soil colors and you can see those black, black things sticking out. That tells you you're definitely in a privy. I was going to say, leave it to me to find a 1973 privy in a 1773 town. And it looks like I just might have. That was down two and a half feet deep. Certainly doesn't look old at all. But yet, it didn't seem like the layers were disturbed, so... Did some other privy digger beat me to it, or is this a very modern privy, or some kind of a modern trash pit? Well, in any case, it's not worth digging anymore. Alright, here I am in Conway, South Carolina. Got a privy poked out. Hoping to find one of the straight-sided cokes from here. Somewhere in South Carolina. In a very heavily dug county. I found this depression in the woods. I probed it and I felt glass down at three feet. Hopefully it's not going to be another 1940s hole. A lot of dispensary flasks have been found around here. So hopefully I'll get my share of them out of this hole. Okay, here I am in Beaufort, South Carolina. Searching for that beautiful Pepsi bottle. Okay, that one didn't work out. Somebody beat me to that lot. There's definitely active privy diggers in this town. But I am very determined to get my share out of here. So here's another lot. Hope to do better on this one. Well, I'm down almost four feet and I still haven't found a single bottle. Just one broken bottom of a flask that looks like it's from right around 1900. But I do feel some stuff down there. Still nothing, except a bunch of wet mud. I had to change into my rubber boots for this one. Still haven't found a single bottle. I hope I find something to make it all worthwhile. Well, it's so unpleasant and so sparse. I'm just going to give it up. It's not going to have the Pepsi bottles in it anyway. It's going to be older than that. All I care about is the Pepsi bottle. So, I guess I'll have to fill it and start a new one. Here's how we find them in Beaufort. You wait till low tide and you walk out in the mud and hope you don't get stuck. There's some bottles sticking out. I can see them right over there. There's a bunch of sodas, but they're not very old. There's the best one. It's not very good. The mud flats just had a bunch of 50s and newer bottles. Don't want to risk my life getting stuck in the mud trying to find some hobble skirt cokes. So I'm back to another spot looking for privies. Got three holes poked out on this lot. Well, that's the only bottle I found. A plastic bottle from four years ago. I could have sworn it was an undug privy. These privies over here are really hard to read. They feel undug, but they are dug. Well, gotta try some more. Well, I'm in the fifth or sixth privy now. At least I feel this one's never been dug before. I'm finding a lot of oyster shells. When I stick the probe in, all I can feel is shells are about three feet. Yet another hole with nothing but oyster shells. Just thousands of them. Not a single piece of glass. 
Okay, now I'm into a really big trash pit. It's about seven feet long, four feet wide. Probably only two and a half feet deep. I'm finally getting some glass, but it looks like about 1940. But I'm so desperate to find something, and I've only got about 35 minutes of light left, so might as well see what else is in there. Yep, that's the best thing this town has to offer me. A Duke's mayonnaise from 1938, I guess. I, don't really, I always forget those Owens, Illinois codes. It's got the 8 after it, so I'm assuming that means 38. Finally got into a privy. All the vacant lots were dug, so I started permissionizing. And look what I found. My first South Carolina dispensary, but it's broken. Here is a Demijohn water bottle with an applied top from about 1890. And an iron cross on the bottom of this liquor bottle. And this is black glass from the 1860s, which they must have kept around a while. And this one is possibly a paper label only dispensary flask. And then we got the nice aqua one that should have been embossed with the tree. But no such luck. And another amber half pint. Could have been embossed but wasn't. And a big shot glass. And that from an oil lamp. And a mineral water. And this, I wouldn't think that was from the 1800s, but apparently it was. And then we found a Belfast round bottom soda, or what's left of it. And then we got this piece. Looks pretty old. So, finally got some stuff, but nothing really intact. Yeah, got the first piece of glass coming out. I can't really tell what that is. I think I got another one here. Okay, that should determine something. That looks like... Right around 1919, I'd say. Just slightly lower, I just pulled this out. That looks like it could be a whiskey dispensary. We are in a dispensary county. So if that is a broken South Carolina dispensary, we're on the right track. Okay, I got more glass coming out. Hmm. Very interesting. There is possibly the bottom of that dispensary piece. I thought it looked like it was one of the cylinders, but I can't find the midsection to tell whether it really is one or not. But that's it. A couple more pieces of a possible jug. But for some reason I always have bad luck in South Carolina. I found a dump here in Beaufort just by driving around and finding a low spot. It's about the size of a, well, half of a football field size anyway. I probed a lot of spots and I picked this one. So I'm starting to get some glass and it's about 1910 stuff. Which is pretty good because I'm looking for the Pepsi. And the straight side of Cokes would be fine too. That one looks like an early machine made shard. But this piece looks like it's from about 1893. I was just about to give up because I've hit the bottom and I've dug it all out. And as I was finishing up the corner, I hooked onto this. Oh, damn it. It's chipped up pretty bad. I was going to say it's possible somebody dug this entire dump up 25 or 30 years ago. And I thought this would prove that it hadn't been dug up completely. 
But with the giant chip, somebody might have thrown it away. But I might keep it anyway. It might be worth two or three dollars to somebody.